Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Joe. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys a simple fix, simple little tutorial. I love doing these videos because I like to show you guys how to do things and you know, I'm sure most of you guys already know how but still I like to make videos like this for you guys. So today I got a video for you guys on how to actually create your own Minecraft mod pack. It's super simple guys. Really, really simple. There's nothing much to it. Um, it's way, way easier than it was back then because back then you actually had to like uh, download Forge, install Forge on your Minecraft, open the mods folder, install all the mods and all this crap. So it was just so like so much confusing and you know what? It was a lot harder on the computer I found and uh, by the way guys also. So, so in this video is gonna be a simple fix. It's really really simple. You guys will see what I mean I have all the links down in the description below if you guys want to it's just really easy It's gonna be simple for you guys. So let's get right into it first things first guys What I did is yesterday. I wanted to play some minecraft mod packs So what I did is I downloaded the twitch launcher when I downloaded it I opened it I went to mod packs and it said it wasn't available and it said they they have this new Launcher that they're trying out and to download that and to try that out. So let's go ahead It's gonna be the first link in the description. I want you guys to click on it first so if you click on the first link in the description it brings you to here which is curseforge.com this is on the twitch website this is their new way of getting uh you to install minecraft and mod packs and all stuff like this, this is basically the curse forge launcher so when if you already downloaded this twitch app it will tell you it will directly direct you immediately to download their new curse forge um, also i do want to advise you do you need to make an account for this so just log in sign up make a quick account what i did is i downloaded twitch like i said and i installed it and then i opened it and i I had my account already and I downloaded it, the Curse Forge, and automatically it had me signed in. So if you download this and it brings you to that, automatically it should sign you in. If it doesn't, you just sign in with your Twitch account. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I didn't have to sign in. I'm I, I I'm assuming you if it says log in like with Mojang and stuff, or it might ask you, do you want to log in with your Mojang account? You click that and then you enter your Mojang and then you can enter um your Minecraft account. So what I did is I if you click on the link in the description, you'll get this page. And then you click on uh, up here, you'll see a bunch of little tabs. You just click on get desktop, and then from there on it brings you to this page, the new curse forge, and it's in beta. So and then you if you have a Mac, obviously you're gonna download Mac. If you have a Windows, you download for Windows. It is really simple once it downloads it just you click on it you click install it'll install it you pick where you want all the folders i do apologize you want to you're going to pick where all the folders are going to go so it's really simple once you download it and then you're going to basically get this on your desktop which is the curse for once you open that and you're all logged in you should get this basically and it's going to say choose a game and then you can come here and click on minecraft and download minecraft basically i think once once you download your minecraft that's when it's going to ask you to it's going to open up the launcher it's going to ask you to log into your mojang account before that i think it's just your twitch account right here yeah you do need to make a twitch account so once you actually download minecraft at this point it's gonna say my mod packs browse mod packs search mod packs which is freaking amazing you can literally come here and download any sort of mod pack you want and if you guys don't know if you guys haven't checked out my pixelmon series i just did a live stream on it go check it out I'll leave links in the description also um or i'll leave a card up here or something but make sure to go check that out this is where i got the pixelmon mod pack if you guys are all wondering where i get it it's right here it's really simple and i also have the new beginning mod pack which i'm thinking of doing a series on also um but yeah so i got the pixel mod, mod pack right here uh also the video is how to teach you guys how to make a mod pack so if you want to download one you just click on browse you look at whatever one you want to download and then all you got to do is simply click install it's really simple and then after that it installs it you click play and then you can play it it's it's really that simple like it's so much easier than it was before and of course this is even easier if you want to go ahead and make your own minecraft mod pack which is what me and my wife did we we did a christmas one here and we have just like little christmas um uh, mod packs installed um which is really cool and you can also pick the version of minecraft and everything like that so let me show you guys how so if you guys probably noticed the create custom profile at the top you're gonna click on that right here it's gonna say what you want to name it so i'm just gonna name it yt for now just for youtube and then right here this this is really this is where you're gonna decide where you want your minecraft version it goes all the way down to 1.2 so obviously 1.2 has a lot of mods the lower versions have more mods because that's where most of the mods are made uh you can go like 1.16 but sometimes there's going to be no forge for it so if you go 1.15.2 for example now it says there's a forge let's create it it's going to create that mod pack the minecraft and that it's applying the patches everything and then once this is done installing your minecraft launcher it's really really simple literally super duper simple i'm gonna see i'm gonna show you guys in a second here once it's done installing um as you can see you already see yt right here and everything so you can see that was pretty quick like it's already pretty much done you click on it right so obviously you don't have any mods yet 
Um, and you can also install resource packs, maps, mods, anything, guys. Like, that's how simple it is now. Here's how you install mods. You go add more content, and boom, look at all the mods that come out for you guys, guys. This is, like, you get all the mods, that, and you can sort them. And, and, of course, these are going to be the mods that are available for this Minecraft version. The higher you go, the less mods there will be because they have to update all the mods to the newest version. All this stuff here. And have your featured, so what you want, it's like a filter. Do you want it by popularity? So now it's going to show you all the most popular downloaded Minecraft mods. Categories, you can search what kind of category you want. If you like fabric, farming mods. Here you go, in industrial foregoing. It's showing you all the uh, farming mods. If you want energy mods, here you go. All your energy mods, thermal expansion. So all you got to simply do is click install. It's that simple. And also one thing I want to let you guys know is that, look, I'll show you guys. There's no Optifine in this specific one. Optifine, you actually have to go to Google optifine downloads find the right optifine version for this mod pack and then all you're gonna do is once you install you want to click download optifine and then you'll get that little java file what you're gonna do for this is you're gonna go back to your minecraft mod pack you're gonna click on your mod pack here and you're not gonna click on add more content you're actually gonna click these three little bars right here you're gonna click on that you're gonna click open folder what that does it's really simple it brings you directly to where your folder where your your mod pack is right so then all you're simply gonna do is click on mod and then you're gonna gonna drag your optifine into here it's that simple guys that's it like that's all you got to do and if you guys want to obviously get rid of the mod pack you just click delete profile delete profile backups and that's it it's gone so guys that is how you create a minecraft mod pack it's that simple now it's really super du duper easy so um thank you guys so much for watching the episode if you guys find that this did help you guys out please leave it down in the comments below i would really appreciate that so uh thank you guys so much i love you guys so much have a great rest of your day guys and adios